hi and welcome back to my youtube channel so in the last uh, videos what we have discussed about the light uh, its reflection from spherical mirrors we have covered the image formation by the concave lens partially and we have three cases remaining we have done when the object is at infinity when it is beyond center of curvature Now, uh, also we have done the case when the object is at center of curvature now what we will be doing in this video is the case that when the object is between center and curvature a center of curvature and focus at focus and between focus and the pole so let's start so i'll just jot down the heading jot down the chapter number so what is my chapter number it is chapter number 10 as per the ncert its name is light its reflection and refraction light its reflection and refraction right so we were doing the image formation by concave lens image formation by a concave mirror not lens it is mirror our case for today is uh, which i think should be the fourth case so i am not writing down the number as i am not sure but the case is when the object is placed when the object is placed between when the object is placed between focus and the center of curvature focus and the center of curvature right fine so this is a case the there is a con uh, cave lens which you can see the outer surface is silvered and the inner surface is reflecting there is the focus here is the center of curvature and the object is placed between them right not necessarily at the midpoint anywhere between them we are doing a general case now i'll just have to trace two rays which are emitted from the object and are reflected from the mirror what i have to do i have to find the center of uh, the point of intersection so which two rays should i choose i can choose any two fine so the first ray which i'll choose will be the ray which is parallel to the principal axis and passes through focus after reflection through the lens and first let me draw this one then we'll see which ray i have to choose next fine so here is my ray the blue ray which you can see it is the ray which passes parallel to the principal axis before reflection and after reflection by the lens it passes through its focus now i can choose any ray the second one but i will choose the ray which is directed towards the pole at an oblique angle and gets reflected at the same angle by the pole right so i'll just plot that ray so this is my second ray which is the ray which is directed towards the pole p <clears throat> which is directed towards the pole p and gets reflected from the pole p at the same angle at which it was incident now we have to okay so first me let uh, let me mark the arrows of the green ray with the green pen only so this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray it is very very important for you to mark your arrows otherwise you will not get marks in any in any exam though they are saying that this time the uh, exam uh, is that objective type but still you are going to give your optics exam in your class 12th so you have to practice the ray diagrams very well now what i can, i'll do now is that i'll find the uh, point of intersection of the green and the blue reflected ray not the incident ray but both rays must be reflected fine so the point of intersection i get is this thing the point of intersection i get is here 
and I drop a perpendicular from this point to the principal axis and mark the arrow here. So this is the image of the object. Let me call the these by names. So say the object is of name AB and the image is of name A dash, B dash or A prime, B prime. So what are the characteristics of, uh, what are the characteristics of image? First is, it is real and inverted. It is real and inverted. Fine. Why is it real? Because it is formed by actual meeting of rays and not by making the rays read behind the rays meet behind the mirror. Fine. The rays actually meet each other to form the real image and a real image is always inverted. That is a rule. Now, uh, the second point is where is the image formed? Second point is where is the image formed? So the image is formed beyond center of curvature. It is formed beyond center of curvature. Now there is the symmetry of nature. There comes into play the symmetry of nature. What does uh, what is the case when the object was beyond center of curvature? The image was between center and uh, center of curvature and focus. Now the case is different. The image is at the center of uh, the beyond uh, beyond center of curvature and the object is between focus and the center of curvature. So this is the symmetry, right? Uh, when the object was at center of curvature, it was the uh, mean case of the two extremes. So there the image and the object were at the same location, right? Now what is the third point? Is the image diminished or magnified? It is quite clear from the figure that the image is magnified. That the image is magnified. So a concave uh, mir mirror forms a magnified image of the object when the object was is between center of, uh, center of curvature and focus. Now this is the first case where the image is magnified. When the object was at infinity, image was highly diminished. It was a point image. When it came towards the mirror, the image size increased, but it was still diminished. At center of curvature, it was same size at the as the object. Beyond uh, the uh, 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 Further close to the mirror, that is between focus and the center of curvature, the image size increased and the image is now magnified. That is, if the object is of 5 cm height, the image will be of 7 cm height. Just, an, just a number. Right? It depends on uh, the focus of the mirror, which we will see later on. Now, our Next case, let's, let's move on to the case number 2 of today's lecture. Mm -hmm. So our next case is that when the object is at focus, where is the image formed? So I'll just write down the heading. When the object is placed at focus, when the object is placed at focus when the object is at the focus of the concave mirror where is its image formed right so let me just draw the diagram so here is the case I have a concave mirror and the focus and the center of curvature the object is placed at the focus of the concave mirror now I'll just trace two rays, any two rays which I can choose, I'll just trace them. So the first ray I choose is the ray which I'm choosing the first in every case. That is a ray which is parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through the focus of the principal axis. So I'll just make that ray. So here is our diagram. Uh, 
this is the reflected ray and uh, the ray is reflect uh, this is the incident ray and the ray gets reflected and passes through the focus of the mirror after reflection now the second ray which i am thinking to choose is again more or less the ray which i am choosing in every other case also i think in all the cases we have chosen the same two rays so you can choose any of your choice i find these two rays only comfortable that is why i am choosing these two rays only so i'll choose the ray that uh, that strikes at the pole of the mirror and gets reflected obliquely so let me just draw it now here we see a very 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 strange thing that this is the incident ray uh, this is the incident ray and after reflection what happens is that the green ray becomes parallel to the blue one that is it cannot meet anywhere neither can we extend the rays behind the mirror and make them meet so there is absolutely no way of making the rays meet so what do we say what do we infer from here we say that the rays do meet but they do so at infinity at a very large distance so the image is formed at infinity so here is the here are the characteristics if i mention the characteristics of image characteristics of image first of all the image is real and image is real and inverted because we do not have to extend the rays uh behind the mirror the image is not found behind the mirror and an image which is not found behind the mirror is always real because it has to be found by real meeting of rays a real image is always inverted and hence the image is real and inverted second part is where is the image formed image is formed at infinity image is formed at infinity the third last but not the least that what is the magnification of the image how large is the image so we see we say due to symmetry that the image will be highly magnified right how can we say that it will be highly magnified see when the object was at infinity the image was at focus and it was a point size image now the case is reversed so it is the image will be highly magnified that is how you will remember this thing fine so this was our second last case that when the object is at focus now our last case is that when the object is between focus and the pole of the mirror now how we will form the image let us wait and watch so here is the final case that when the object is between the focus and the pole of the mirror p for pole right so what i'll do i'll again trace two rays from the uh, object and let's see where they meet so which one will be the first ray which i choose it will be the ray parallel to the principal axis and after reflection becoming uh, pa sorry passing through the focus so let me just draw it down so this is my ray this is the incident ray and here it is reflected right so i cannot just make the image with one ray i'll just make one more ray and that will be the ray passing through the fo uh, sorry striking at the focus and getting reflected obliquely at the same angle at which it was incident right so i'll just plot that ray also and let us see this is a very special case as i am going to just show you so now you can see that there is a very 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 strange phenomenon uh, with this case that the image that this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray now they are diverging away from the mirror that is they are never going to meet on the real side they are never going to meet on the real side so what we now have to do we just now have to make them meet by force so what i'll do i'll just extend the principal axis i'll just extend the principal axis behind the mirror so that i can draw the perpendiculars 
now <clears throat> see i'll extend the principal uh, the blue rail blue ray behind the principal axis as well as the green ray behind the behind the mirror sorry and let us see where they meet so here is the point where the rays not meet but they appear to meet these are the virtual rays these are not the real rays the real rays have been reflected and gone too far now they are not going to meet so what now we have to do we have to now make them meet virtually behind the mirror and so what i'll do is that from this point of intersection just draw a perpendicular on the x axis and in fact not a solid line i'll be drawing a dotted line to emphasize on the fact that this is not a real image this is a vertic uh, virtual image so this image over here of the object is the virtual image formed by the concave mirror it is the only case in which the concave mirror forms an upright image it is the one and only case in which a concave mirror can form an upright image and a, a virtual image so what i can write is hmm i'll write it here characteristics of image characteristics of image what are the characteristics of image the very first characteristic that it is virtual and erect virtual and upright right it is not inverted this time it has to be upright the second thing is that uh, it is formed behind the mirror it is formed behind the mirror it is formed behind the mirror and what is the final thing that the image is highly uh, the image is magnified so the image is magnified <coughs> image is magnified so this was the final case of image formation by a concave mirror right now with this we have done the image formation by a concave mirror but a image formation by a convex mirror is still left but the good news is that it is only a one video topic so in the next video we will be completing the image formation by the spherical mirrors so this was all for today what you have to do you have to just subscribe my channel share my video like my video enter the telegram group through the link it is uh, provided in the description box to get the notes of this lecture so this was all for today and thanks for watching